my parents, all my aunts and uncles, all my cousins, they've always went to OU. So growing up as a kid, OU was just like the place we always went. So just knowing that, that everyone went here and coming here all the time, I always loved OU. Just, I don't really know, it just kind of happened. And I was never gonna say no to OU, I love OU. Well, I knew I wanted to play in the MAC. I grew up in an area by Toledo, so I grew up going to Toledo and Bowling Green women's games, so I knew the MAC was a conference that I was looking to play in. And my sister also went to Western Michigan. So when Ohio came knocking on the door, um, their campus felt right and everywhere else that I visited, I just compared it to Ohio. Um, it was beautiful, they had my major, and I got along with all the girls and believed in the coaches' staff's direction, so it was a perfect fit. Mainly Coach Bob, uh, he was a big influence on me coming here. He, was, he just seemed like a good guy and he cared about school and everything. And then the, just like the school in general, it's a good academic school and it's close to home for me, so that was nice. Out of high school, I thought I wanted to get as far from Athens as possible, just being that hometown kid, obviously, didn't want to come here at all. Not too close, to, it was just too close. Coach Bob and his staff came in, and they reached out as soon as I got the jobs here, and I came in and met with them, and uh, we just started having conversations, and shortly later they offered, and it was just, it really was just too good of a like fit to pass up with his offensive style and my major being sports management and then uh, the one day that I like I, I knew um, I came in for I think it was a practice coach Bob actually had me talk to the AD Jim Schaus he just kind of he went through the same situation I think he said he was originally from like the Purdue area and um, he said he went through this same type of situation. And after talking with him, I walked out and I looked at my dad and I was like, uh, this is where I want to go. I like Coach Bolton. I like him a lot. He's a very simple, sarcastic guy. I think not just off, like on the court has he taught us a lot over the years, but I remember one day I was having a bad day, just going through a lot with basketball and school and a lot of different like personal things and we were talking and he said the sun came up today didn't it and I was like yeah and he's like well then it's gonna be a good day and I think about that probably a lot more than I should but I think the rest of my life that will be something I remember and when I'm going through things it really puts me back into perspective. He's a very intelligent coach. He knows his stuff so just watching him work sometimes um, from the back where he's presenting to the girls in the front, off the bench and things of that sort. Um, he knows what he's doing, so it's really nice to, to not always get the, the yellers all the time, which I kind of grew up with sometimes, um, and someone who just really understands the game and how to perfect and get the best out of your players. So Hannah was my roommate initially when I first came in here. We are some of the closest people on the team now. Um, uh, we really do have a huge respect for one another, and. I feel for what she's gone through the past couple of seasons. I know I can always reach out to Hannah and she'll always be there for me and vice versa and whatnot. Liv, roommates my sophomore year, uh, Liv's just so like chill and laid back and really funny, which you wouldn't expect, but um, no, she's just, she's very go with the flow and whatever happens, happens and it, she's, she's a, she's, she's funny. <laughs> Um, Kendall, she is the mom of the team and that's literally the best way to describe her because she's just that motherly figure that's just gonna take care of everybody and make sure everybody's on the same page but like if you step out of line like she'll be like nope nope move back in you know like um, but Kendall, Kendall's funny as well and um, I've just I've been so blessed with this class like we're we are a very good group and um, I couldn't have asked to come in with anybody better. Oh gosh, they're my best friends. I live with two of them. I live with Katie and Kendall, and I lived with Dom in the dorms, and it's just been amazing being here with all of them. They're great kids, and I can't wait to see what they accomplish. Everyone's got something special. Dom is awesome. I think for her to come here from this town, being from this town, she's obviously gonna bring a crowd for us. She knows everybody. Um, she's a great leader on and off the court, which is something that this program 
needs solid leaders off the court is just as important on the court and I think she's a great um, person for younger kids to look to. Um, Livy, Livy hasn't changed. She's the same. Um, she's kind of been a constant person you can always lean on because she's very quiet um, but she perks in when things are needed to be said. Um, so she's a good person for our balance and I think and she's actually really funny if you get to know her with her little side remarks. Hannah is my roommate so I've been with her for about four years now um, and she's awesome too. Unfortunately her journey uh, took a little bit of a twist compared to the rest of us. She's um, taking the challenge as best as she can and I think still being involved in the program has been really good for her and us as a team as well. Dom I've known since I was in like sixth grade I think. We started going to camps together and it was like I remember looking forward to camps every year because Dom was another good player and I always was like wow she's really good I want to play against her I want to play with her I want Dom on my team. So just knowing her all through the years and then we both ended up in Athens that was that was really cool, getting to come here and play with her as I had throughout the years, and I always hoped I'd get to play with her. And Kendall, I think, Kendall just keep think everything fun. Like, even if she's upset about something, 10 seconds later she'll be making us all laugh and bringing us all together. So it's hard not to appreciate Kendall and all the little things that she does. I think Hannah, not just like on the court the past couple years, but really this year, I've appreciated her probably more than even when she was on the court with us, just because she keeps things in perspective for me, like to enjoy my last year and to not take it for granted that it could all be over at any moment. So I think I, her keeping me in perspective, I really appreciate. When I first came here, it was a hard time because thing, my dad had just passed. So the way that this community opened their arms and quickly became my second family is just my biggest thank you to everyone involved, the coaches, the trainers, um, the fans, the girls, absolutely everything um, made the transition to this school very easy and it made me very comfortable. Um, I was able to open up very quickly and just thank you, endless thank yous to everyone who has helped me become the player and importantly, more importantly, the person that I am today. So thank you Athens and thank you Ohio.